joyful celebration of their marriage. Let this be as in those times of old. Robert Pike of the Clan Ferguson, is it your intention to take the Lady Donna Bower of the Clan Ferguson, no relation, under your shield, unto hearth and home, to be her husband? My Lady Donna, is this your desire as well, to join hearth and home with Robert, to be under his shield, to be his wife? Very well. Who then is here to stand for your right to this sacred intent? Let them come forward and share with us as to why this should take place. I, Marcus Aurelius, know as how we stand for Robert. And we bless you both. We've known you for a long time. Thank you. So let's go through here. I don't Okay, blood casualties, we're already crying. <laughs> that should be you. I know. Well, no, I started over there oh, with them. Okay. So, ha ha ha. Okay, so thank you, Helen Ashley, for standing as their clan's voice. You honor them and those who cannot be here who are in spirit. Hal, if you would go on and remove the staff, we are going to take this time to honor the Clan Ferguson with an exchanging of the sash, exchanging of the colors. Donna and Robert have chosen to honor this heritage by exchanging the colors, as I said. And this harkens back to times past when the groom would bestow upon his bride his pardon. 
in taking her under the shield of his protection and into his home. To me, please. Sorry. Okay. In taking her under the shield of his protection and into his home as a member of his clan, she would bear all the benefits and honor of those born into it. Kind of helps that you already are born in at least one you know, branch. I am, not, I am, yes, I'm avoided. And thank you, Hal, for bringing me the sash. The colors are really quite beautiful. The history of Fran Ferguson can be traced back to the 6th century with rich tales of saints and kings along the various branches of family, time-honored traditions requir requiring the honoring of origins. These colors of the Ferguson tartan with their green, navy blue, black, red, and white. I'm going to cry, sorry. <laughs> they vary some from branch to branch, but this sash here, it bears the lineage proudly. The colors bright and clear, just as the intentions of Robert and Donna both in their love that you guys get to share with us. Me, 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 me. The only way I cannot cry. The brooch calling upon heraldry, if I can get it upright. This bears the clan Ferguson crest, whereupon a chapeau, a bee on thistle sticks. And the clan motto of Dulcia ex Asterisk. Did I say that right, Mike? Meaning sweeter after difficulty, I think is quite appropriate, yes? Yes. Indeed, there have been many difficulties throughout the past year and then some. It would seem this is a well stated human. Ooh, we do this. Such is the promise of sweetness unto your life together. After times of difficulties experienced both separately and shared, hey guys, it only gets better from here on out. Ashley, if you would take and pin the sash upon Donna. Left shoulder to right feet this way. And there now can be no doubt of what your intentions are here. Life is a magical ride. To the keen eye, we can see magic in the coo of a baby, the laughter of a child, the blossoming of a flower, and the smile between two hearts deeply in love. In honor of such magic, I have here three ribbons simply joined at the ends. It is here that Donna and Robert will tie the knot. I am caught upon the horns. We are on the horns of a dilemma. Yes, somebody. Fix me. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I know that. They don't know that. So, Donna, if you will be so kind to take this one. So, and Robert, if you would be so kind to take this one. And, um, yes, you like to have some. All righty. You ready? What I want to do is tie a knot with each for five. Then I'll give you the look when it's time to do the knot. All right? So let these ribbons serve as a symbol of the ties you have formed between not one another. Loosely connected before now, yet by the vows that you make today, they will become strengthened, just as you become stronger with the support of the other. 
These commitments are the truth that your new life could be centered on. As you seek further entry into a state of matrimony, you should strive to keep real the ideals and remember the principles that give meaning to this ceremony. Do you still seek to enter into a ceremony? Very well. Go on. So, you can indulge me, my friends. These are the hands that will guide you both along your chosen path. They are the hands that will offer comfort and will soothe away the stresses of whatever comes. These hands will wipe away the tears, both in joy and in sorrow. These hands will be there to catch you when you stumble or fall. They will be there to help bear the weight when life gets too heavy for you. It is within these hands that love is expressed, and within them lay the means to cherish one another through the coming years. These hands will bring light to your darkness. They will hold tightly to you and encourage you to follow your dreams, being your greatest advocate. Know that together you are stronger than you are apart. Everything that you might wish for can be realized when you move hand in hand into your future. These are the hands that make dreams possible. Donna and Robert, you will tie a knot in your ribbons, weaving your vows within the colored strands. In your home, you should place this prominently as a reminder of the vows taken today. When the day seems heavy or a weariness falls upon you, just look to the ribbons and remember why you are here and how you got here. Love will carry you. With the first knot, please. So, with joy in your hearts, do you promise to love without reservation, to honor each other and the union that you enter into today? Do you promise to hold only to one another and to feed this love daily? Second off. I want you to look deeply into one another's eyes. Good job. See in there the depths of love. Do you promise to speak your truth? And in doing so, you will remember this moment. Knowing that there may be times when your truths might not always align. Do you promise? I do. Nut number three. Da, 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 da. Um. Don't eat the hair. Nut number three. Nut number three. Will both of you promise to stand by one another in sickness and in health, in plenty and in want, during times of laughter and times of sorrow? Do you promise to uplift the other, remaining their best friends and confidants? Even at that time, even at those times when you are tired and worn. Fourth one. Donna and Robert, do you promise that there has been no driving force other than the deep and abiding love you share that compels you to enter into this union? Do you promise to keep that love with you all your days? Very good. Set this down early. It is not by my will that you are bound, or by the knots in these ribbons tied by your own hands, but by the vow spoken, heart to soul, mind to mind. And life to life. Recognize the intent behind these words and that the power of their being is now woven and into your heart. May you find peace in your dreams which is on your own.
Nine knots woven. So we'll step back so we can fall. Everything that we have done uses a true tight knot and set your intentions. How athlete you would use the time making sure Blessing of the ring. How and Ashley, if you would do the first year. What you will do is hold the ring between your hands, make a wish for whatever benefit you deem for them. This is your gift from your heart. Blow into the ring and then exchange the rings and do it again. And when you're done with that, then I ask you to give it to Robert Mom. Go ahead. to your lips, make a silent wish upon them as the first gift between husband and wife. Let these rings be a symbol to the outside world of the commitment you make today. Robert, please place Donna's ring upon her finger and repeat after me. Yes, bless you. I, Robert, Take you, Donna, to be my love and my wife, to be neither before me nor behind me, but to be beside me as my partner, to share in this adventure, come what may, always together, our hearts never apart. I, Donna, I, Donna, you take you, Robert, take you, Robert, to be my love and my husband, to be my love and my husband, to be neither before me, to be neither before me, nor behind me, nor behind me, but to be beside me as my partner, beside me as my partner, to share in this adventure, share in this adventure, come what may, always together, our hearts never apart. Robert, repeat the song. Donna, I declare you to be my wife. What we have created today, I will defend to my last breath. I declare you to be my husband. What we have created today, I will defend to my last breath. Here lies the pressure. Your own life and the I will, as your celebrant, guide you into. And this is where you get to seal your vows for the kids. And then there's more. Uh oh. So it is by your troth that two hearts have now become one. What has been wrought this day, let no one put asunder. And so it is done. It is my esteemed honor to present to you family and friends, Mr. and Mrs. Robert and Donna Pike.
Huzzah! Huzzah! Woo! I'm in trouble now. Yeah, you are. You are so in trouble. <laughs> So, I am presenting to you, family and friends, Okay. 